hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is damilo and i'm filming from the uk <laughs> guys welcome back and it has been a long time coming like it has been almost i think eight months yeah the last video i posted was in february oh my god and a lot has happened a lot has changed since february it's uh, crazy like when i think about it it's like crazy but like a lot of things have changed um first of all i am married yeah the last time i the last the second to the last video was actually of femi and i we were not even <laughs> it was a boyfriend tag and now he's going to come as a husband oh my god you guys a lot has changed a lot has happened um this year has been a lot um this year has been my best year and my worst year at the same time um it's just it's just it's just been a roller coaster of emotions so um this year started out with me deciding that i will definitely um be more serious with my youtube i will um do all i can to make sure that i'm consistent because i had a um, quite a bit of time on my hands so i was like oh i'm gonna grow my channel and be consistent with putting out content but whew, Mm, boy did life happen um life happened and i wasn't able to go through with that and i'll explain to you in a sh in a bit <laughs> yeah so first things first um my last video was on the 20th or 21st of february something like that i think 20, 20 something of february i think was when i put out my last video and you know the unexpected happened um I lost my dad I lost my loving father um, <laughs> it was so unexpected um, it was so unexpected we didn't see it coming it was a big blow to me and to our family in general it was he was okay he was healthy he was happy he was good he wasn't sick he was he was okay like you know when from the blues you know when something was not even in your in your thoughts you know it didn't even cross our minds or anything like that and it just happened life just happened it just happened um my father was who was i would say the best father anybody would have asked for he gave us everything he had when i say everything it was like it's one of the pains the fact that you know he was just beginning to enjoy you know us as his children and then he had to go but my consolation is in a is in a place that is far better than all the silver all the gold all the riches of this world is far more beautiful he's in a mansion that cannot be compared to anything in this world or anything that eyes human eyes have seen so that is my consolation it's 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 <laughs> I, I don't know if you watched my kilishi video the video of um how i made my kilishi he was he was the one that took me there he he went with me he helped me to create that content that's my father he ever supportive everything that i said i wanted to do he would always do his best to make sure that um it happened for me you know he he was it was amazing like whew, even at to my big age like now you know even that month before he passed you know he would come he's the kind of person we didn't lock our room because he would come to, at night he would come make sure we didn't leave the windows open make sure that the fan is not on because it's hamatan um you know if we've thrown our blanket away he would always cover us back he was just that father that was who who like a month before that i just randomly woke up at night because my dad usually prays like 3 a.m i think i woke up to ease myself and i heard him just calling our names like each of us he would pick my name and pray and decree and just say wonderful things he would talk about my sister just you know say things and then like pray for her like my father was <sighs> he 
He was a true father and he loved the Lord with all his heart, with all his might, with all his strength. And, you know, that is one thing that I've learned from him, the love of the Lord, like from his heart. He gave his whole life to the service of, of God. And my consolation is just the fact that he... He is with his father. He has gone to be with his father. He's singing and dancing because that's actually what he that's actually what he wanted. Because on the day my father passed, he was good, he was happy. It was a Sunday, the uh, February the 27th, 2022. He was happy, he was okay. It was a Sunday, we went to church. Um, he was dancing, he was dancing unusually. In fact, he even made me do a video. I'll see if I can put, you know, the video of him that day he was dancing in church he just you know from the front he just turned and did this and i knew he wanted me to do a video so i did a video of him on sunday he was dancing he, the choir was singing his favorite song his favorite song was now you rain by messi chimo that was his ringtone as well um he was just dancing and dancing and dancing and um he took the microphone and he was like, he just told the choir, he was like, ah, I feel like this song should not end. I feel like, in fact, I just feel like dancing and dancing. I feel like dancing and going to heaven. And we all laughed. Um, we we're thinking it's just one of those things, you know, when people say, oh, I feel like this is so good. I feel like going to heaven. You know, it's just one of those things. We laughed it off. And after church, they had some meetings and um it was time to go home. So when he was driving home, driving us home, he was like, ah, he told me, oh, let's please Take me to that photo studio because I took a picture with my sister or I took, we, my sister took some pictures and it was nice. So he's like, oh, take me to that photo studio. I want to take a picture with my wife. We're like, oh, daddy, we're all tired. We know we've been in church. We've been waiting. There were meetings. Just let's go home. And when we come back, because we're supposed to take a delivery later in the evening, so we're all going to come out. So I was like, oh, when we come back to collect that delivery, you take your pictures with mommy. He was like, no, take me to the... And we're like, daddy, please, we're all hungry, we're famished. You know the way after Sunday? And looking back, I just wish, I just wish I granted him that, you know, wish to take a picture with his wife. Um, we got home, had a nap, um, you know, the normal Sunday nap, and, you know, when I woke up, I didn't see him. I asked my mom. She said he had he had an that she was also sleeping, and he said he had an appointment at church with someone, so he went out. So I said okay. It was going to like seven forty something, and I, I had to. I was like, ah, it's getting late. Daddy's not back. I called him. He said, oh, he's on his way. He's coming back. He just wanted to buy a few stuff. He was supposed to travel to Lagos the very next day. His flight was in the morning so um he was supposed to go to lagos for pastor's prayer and fasting so um i was supposed to go back to abuja so he came back and i was telling him oh daddy please could you just he was supposed to drive to the airport and leave his car so i was telling him oh could you just take me to the train station and then drive to the airport he was like no 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 no, no. he doesn't want to be late i should just use the regular you know um service bus service that i usually use from my junction to the train station that she used that um and go it's going to be i don't he doesn't want any delays for his flight and all of that so i said okay he was still making plans he was making calls he was still even dancing in the living room he bought ghana must go because he usually buys onions buys stuff to take to lagos for his friends um so he was just preparing and then at past nine he was still cracking jokes with my mom everything with us well in the living room he said oh past nine he said he was going to bed that he needs to rest so that he'll have an early start tomorrow um so we prayed and said good night he went inside five minutes later my mom said oh she's going to join her husband i was like whatever <laughs> and she went inside to join my dad and um just about 20 to 30 minutes later this is like to 10 maybe 10 50 or so i just heard my mom shouting and um uh, shouting my name shouting i ran to the room the door was locked so i kept banging on the door i tried to break into the it didn't break open my mom had to run and open the door and we entered and I just went to my parents bathroom and my dad was laying there <laughs> that memory Hmm. and i just quickly ran i ran to call my neighbor to just help us take him to the hospital at first i checked his pulse he was he was still breathing and he was he just he was just heaving he was just heaving he was just heaving like soft heaves though like 
I was like, okay, good, he's still here. So um called my neighbor, we went, he brought out the car, we took him to the hospital quickly. It was later on I even discovered I wasn't wearing any shoes. <laughs> At that point, it's like nothing matters in this world. He he was on my chest. I'm so grateful for the fact that I even had those last moments with him. I'm so grateful. He was on my chest and he was just heaving. I was just praying. I was just rubbing his head and I was saying, Daddy, please just be here. And I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. I was speaking in tongues. I was just praying, God, please, God, please. And we got to the hospital. Immediately they put him on oxygen and then they started asking, you know, hospitals, Nigerian hospitals, they were asking for a hospital card blah 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 so i ran with one of our uncles that came from church to get it from my auntie's place my auntie's house wasn't too far away so while they were waiting for the doctor i left the doctor hadn't come to check him so i went to get the hospital card and by the time i came back my now husband my dead boyfriend um, was there and you know immediately he saw me coming through the door i was just running and then he came to hold me and my mom was just she was praying and crying she was crying and praying and that's how i left her so i was just you know she was crying and praying i was still thinking she was just it's just that mood so my, my he held me my then boyfriend held me and i was just thinking like this is not the time like why are you holding me and i guess he was just holding me for the news that was to come and my mom just told me the doctor said he's gone and I was wondering, gone where? Like how? Like is this how people go? Like just go? Like somebody that was hill hatty and you know he was okay, he wasn't sick, nothing. All of a sudden, he's gone. <laughs> it was, God, it's it was that has to be the the most traumatizing. It was oh my God, you know my 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 father passing. It changed me. It changed me completely. It changed my life because normally i'm usually empathic when i hear someone loses their loved one but now it hits me in a different way like truly you don't know how it feels until you've been in the shoes to be honest um you don't know how it feels because now i understand it in a deeper way so when i hear someone loses a father or mother or a loved one like it hits different now you know it hits different it hits different you know when people say oh i understand how you feel no you don't you really don't until you know you're in those shoes it's ah uh, father it's just god that has been helping us and comforting us just the fact that i know where he is and you know it's just funny how you know um later on was when we discovered that the person who he had a, an appointment with that evening before he passed was the painter he wanted a painter to paint the church and he had an appointment with him to discuss about how it would be done and um, apparently the the painter was calling the next day to say oh hello um hello pastor i have the quotation the quotation is ready and that's when my mom said daddy's gone and he was like gone where the guy didn't understand he thought because daddy must have mentioned that he was traveling he thought it was the journey and mommy just told him okay bring the quotation to the house he didn't understand why mommy was the one picking the call um so when he came to the house he was he was just devastated he couldn't understand and that's when he kept he was crying and he was saying so this is what daddy was saying yesterday so we asked him saying yesterday as how he said yesterday when they met that daddy was hitting his leg and saying his leg was hurting and you know um he asked oh what happened he said oh he danced so much in church today he danced a lot in church today he was like ah daddy you need to take it easy you're not as young as you used to be and they were laughing he said harry <laughs> he called the guy's name he said harry right now i'm just seeing heaven that's what he said and he pointed like that and that is when we knew and this guy doesn't attend our church and that was when we corroborated you know what he said in church and what he said to Henry later that evening apparently God had shown him um, that he was going to call him home but he didn't I'm sure he didn't expressly understand um, what it meant he didn't know exactly what it meant but God had shown him and I'm just happy that he is with his maker so yeah my father is 
he is a model he, he, he he's a model of what fatherhood really is and fa what fatherhood really um, entails you know so yeah I'm, I'm just happy that we were able to make memories um, like I said before I might put some of the videos and some pictures just for you to see who this wonderful wonderful man um, who he was and um, truly the memory of the righteous is blessed is blessed is blessed because every day I remember him um, just yesterday I was <laughs> I was just thinking of him I was missing him so much I just wanted to hear his voice um, and I was just crying. I was just, I, I missed him. So, yesterday was different. I just miss him a lot, a lot yesterday. Uh, but yeah, he's happy. He's uh, rejoicing with the hosts of heaven, you know. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, after that, um, in August, in April, um, Femi proposed to me. Um, and yeah, I would. I think the next video will be the proposal video. So he proposed in April. We had our introduction. Okay, April twentieth. We ha he proposed to me on April twentieth. Um, we had our introduction on the first of May. Um, we had our white, uh, our court wedding on the seventh of May, and we had our white wedding on the 20th of August so yeah that's basically you know how it has been a lot has changed I know the last time you saw Femi he was my boyfriend now he's my husband a whole husband <laughs> so like a lot has changed but we're going to be coming to talk to you about different things and you know and I've whined Femi already so he's going to come um quite often at least for now you know to just talk about you know how he planned the proposal for example how we planned the wedding relocation um yeah so we had our white wedding on the 20th of august and we relocated we left nigeria on the 23rd literally three days after the wedding we left nigeria for the uk so yeah that's um basically it so we'll talk more about every other thing in subsequent videos i just wanted to update you guys on where we are right now thank you guys so much for watching um please like comment subscribe share please 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 we need to get to 1k 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 we're very important 1k so once we get to 1k then we take it up from there <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day thank you so much and watch out for the next video which is a proposal video thank you so much when you're watching that video please share like subscribe okay when you're watching this video like share subscribe comment as well i love reading comments i always reply to comments please thank you so much have a wonderful day this video is getting too long bye